Imagine waking up to news headlines screaming, Mauna Loa erupts in major outburst. Mauna Loa, the sleeping giant of Hawaii's big island, towers over four kilometers into the sky and sprawls across 120 kilometers, making it the largest active volcano on Earth by volume. Historically, it erupted roughly once every five years, though in recent decades, its activity slowed dramatically. Mauna Loa broke its silence on November 27th, 2022, erupting for over two weeks before falling quiet again. That recent awakening proved the giant is still very much alive, and volcanologists warn that the next outburst could unleash catastrophic lava flows and threaten lives, cities, and global climate patterns. During past eruptions, lava nearly reached major cities, including Hilo, home to thousands of residents. So what exactly would happen if Mauna Loa erupted today? And is humanity prepared to face a cataclysm of this magnitude? Let's find out. Mauna Loa isn't just large, it is the mountain, covering half of Hawaii's Big Island and holding more mass than any other active volcano on Earth. Its peak reaches over four kilometers into the sky, and its massive body stretches an astonishing 120 kilometers wide beneath its calm surface. And it holds a massive reservoir of magma, hot, melted rock that waits quietly, building up pressure year after year. Now imagine the ground starts shaking beneath your feet. Not a gentle shake, but violent, unsettling earthquakes. These quakes are clear signs that the giant volcano is about to awaken. Historically, eruptions at Mauna Loa often begin with earthquakes. These tremors signal magma moving quietly upward, closer to the surface. Scientists watch these signs closely, but even they can't predict exactly when or how strongly the volcano will erupt. When Mauna Loa erupted in 1984, lava mountain shot nearly 50 meters into the sky, lighting up the island at night with a terrifying glow. The 2022 eruption, although less destructive, reminded everyone of how quickly things could escalate. Towns and cities nearby, especially Hilo with its 45,000 residents, watched helplessly as rivers of hot lava approached, stopping just a few kilometers short of causing massive destruction. That eruption lasted three weeks, a reminder of how unpredictable and dangerous Mauna Loa can be. Today, the population around the volcano has grown much larger than it was in 1984. Towns like Ocean View, Captain Cook, and especially Hilo have expanded, placing thousands more at risk. Because of the volcano's vast size, fissures, deep cracks releasing lava can open almost anywhere along its slopes, making it extremely hard to predict where destruction will hit. Emergency alerts would be broadcasted on the radio, television, and mobile phones. People would scramble to pack their belongings, gather their families, and flee to safety. Although the 2022 eruption relieved some pressure, scientists have observed that Mauna Loa's magma chambers are already refilling, suggesting another eruption could happen sooner than expected. Waiting only a few years rather than decades could allow enough pressure to build for another major outburst, and when Mauna Loa finally wakes up, its power could change lives forever. But it doesn't quietly spill lava. Instead, it releases enormous rivers of molten rock, glowing bright orange and red as they flow down its slopes. Imagine seeing streams of liquid rock over 1,200 degrees Celsius racing downhill faster than a human can run, burning everything in their path. These rivers of fire can quickly overwhelm roads, forests, and homes, leaving entire areas completely destroyed in just a matter of hours. The volcano's past eruptions clearly show how devastating these lava flows can be. In the eruption of 1950, Mauna Loa unleashed massive amounts of lava that moved at alarming speeds, reaching the sea within three hours, covering a distance of over 24 kilometers. Entire villages were quickly wiped out, giving people very little time to escape. Lava flows from Mauna Loa aren't just hot, they're powerful enough to bulldoze buildings and reshape the land permanently. Each eruption brings new dangers. Mauna Loa's massive slopes often crack open during eruptions, creating multiple channels that spill lava in unpredictable directions. This means entire communities can suddenly find themselves facing danger from unexpected angles, making escape routes unclear and dangerous. Even trained emergency teams struggle when volcanic activity becomes chaotic, as new fissures open without warning, threatening previously safe evacuation routes. 
During Mauna Loa's 1984 eruption, lava flowed steadily towards Hilo, Hawaii's second largest city. Thousands watched anxiously, hoping the flows would stop. Miraculously, the lava stopped just a few kilometers away, but residents knew how close they had come to catastrophe. Today, with many more people living on the island, the same event could be much more devastating. Imagine yourself living in these towns. As lava rapidly approaches, panic sets in. Roads become jammed with vehicles trying to escape. Emergency sirens blare through the night, and smoke fills the air, making it difficult to breathe or see clearly. Rescue helicopters and emergency services rush desperately to evacuate people, knowing every second counts. But lava doesn't just destroy, it also creates. As these fiery rivers reach the ocean, they cool and harden, creating new land along Hawaii's coastline. Over the centuries, lava from Mauna Loa has continually shaped the island, expanding its size. While this creation is fascinating, it comes with tremendous loss and tragedy. While lava flows cause immediate destruction, Mauna Loa's volcanic ash poses another major threat. As lava fountains burst skyward, volcanic ash, pulverized rock fragments, fills the atmosphere. This isn't ordinary dust. Towering ash columns can blast over 15 kilometers into the sky, blocking out sunlight, plunging cities into eerie darkness, and grounding flights across the Pacific. But that's just the start. Volcanic ash is abrasive, corrosive, and dangerous when inhaled. Breathing this fine powder can cause severe respiratory issues, damaging the lungs permanently. During large eruptions, ash from Hawaiian volcanoes has traveled thousands of kilometers, reaching as far as North America's west coast. Imagine ash falling like snow over cities like San Francisco or Los Angeles, thousands of kilometers away from Mauna Loa, disrupting daily life and forcing people indoors. Unlike explosive stratovolcanoes like Tambora, Mauna Loa's eruptions are less ash-heavy, but even moderate ash emissions could disrupt aviation and agriculture across the Pacific. The economic impact would be staggering. Millions stranded at airports, supply chains disrupted, and agriculture damaged. Farms around Hawaii would be blanketed in ash, killing crops and livestock. Past volcanic events have caused billions of dollars in economic damage, and Mauna Loa's size suggests even greater financial losses. Historically, ash clouds from volcanic eruptions have even triggered global cooling. The 1815 eruption of Indonesia's Mount Tambora led to the famous Year Without Summer, devastating harvests worldwide. While Mauna Loa's eruptions can block sunlight regionally, they are unlikely to cause major global cooling. A significant eruption could lower regional temperatures, affecting weather patterns across the Pacific. With ash raining down and infrastructure collapsing, authorities would scramble to manage the chaos. Hospitals would overflow with patients suffering from respiratory distress, and emergency responders would be stretched thin. Even after lava stops flowing, the ash crisis would persist, potentially for weeks or months. Yet another hidden threat lurks beneath the waves, potentially causing devastating effects far from Hawaii's shores. When you think of volcanic eruptions, you might not consider tsunamis. While lava reaching the ocean can trigger explosive steam interactions, the bigger tsunami risk comes from Mauna Loa's steep, unstable flanks. A sudden collapse could send a massive wall of water racing across the Pacific. Historically, lava entering water has generated powerful explosions and landslides, creating waves capable of devastating nearby coastal communities. Hawaii's coastline is densely populated, with towns and cities nestled close to the shore. An eruption could trigger underwater landslides along Mauna Loa's unstable slopes, sending huge waves rushing outward. Tsunamis generated by volcanic activity aren't just hypothetical. They happened in 1868, when volcanic earthquakes off Hawaii's coast produced waves over 15 meters high devastating coastal villages. Today, an eruption-induced tsunami could strike tourist-packed areas along Hawaii's beaches with almost no warning. Imagine vacationers suddenly facing towering walls of water surging inland, leaving little chance for escape. Tsunami sirens would blare urgently, but evacuation times could be tragically short. Even distant regions across the Pacific, like Japan, the Philippines, and California, would brace for tsunami impacts hours later. The 1960 Chilean tsunami, originating thousands of kilometers away, caused destruction in Hawaii and Japan. Conversely, a tsunami from Hawaii could wreak havoc far beyond its immediate coastline. 
Emergency planners worldwide recognize this threat, continuously monitoring Mauna Loa's seismic activity. Yet even after waves subside, there's one last chilling scenario to consider. The long-term aftermath of Mauna Loa's eruption could alter lives for decades. Once the fires dim, the ashes settle, and the tsunamis recede, Hawaii faces a new reality shaped by Mauna Loa's fury. Entire neighborhoods would lie buried beneath cooled lava flows, permanently altering landscapes and communities. Thousands displaced, livelihoods shattered, and local economies devastated. Recovery could take decades. Rebuilding infrastructure alone would cost billions. Roads, airports, hospitals, and homes, everything would need reconstruction. Tourism, Hawaii's economic backbone, might suffer dramatically. After past eruptions, tourism rates have plummeted temporarily causing job losses and economic hardship for thousands reliant on visitors. Environmentally, the island ecosystem would transform dramatically. Newly created lava fields eventually turned fertile, but only after decades of recovery. Initially, wildlife habitats would suffer massive destruction. Endangered species unique to Hawaii could face extinction risks, permanently altering biodiversity. But there's hope amid disaster. Hawaii's resilience is legendary. Historically, Hawaiians have adapted to volcanic eruptions, embracing them as part of their land's ever-changing nature. Community spirit, combined with modern technology, can significantly mitigate damage and accelerate recovery. Moreover, eruptions provide vital geological insights. Each event adds crucial data for volcanologists, improving forecasting accuracy. Enhanced predictions mean better preparedness, potentially saving countless lives in the future. Ultimately, Mauna Loa's fury reminds us that Earth's power is far greater than our plans, teaching lessons in humility, resilience, and awe. While terrifying, the next eruption, whenever it occurs, will shape Hawaii profoundly, highlighting human adaptability in the face of Earth's most dramatic events. When Mauna Loa wakes again, we'll witness nature's raw power, revealing just how fragile yet resilient our lives truly are. So how prepared do you think Hawaii is for Mauna Loa's next eruption? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more intense stories like this.